so a little change of pace today. So today I'm actually hunting in Maryland on a private pond that we got permission on uh, a few weeks back and the lady finally got back to me when Maryland opened back up and said that I could hunt it. So, fingers crossed, should be a good hunt. I was just there at the beginning of the week and there was a lot of geese and ducks in there. So hopefully none of them moved out and they're still there and we'll go get set up and get on some birds. It's so nice to just be able to drop the decoys off right next to the blind and drive away. Oof. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Got four minutes. I think it's time to start. Got one. Hey, you got the spot, big dog. So before you judge this next clip, give you a little background of, of uh, that morning. So we were playing on hunting geese and ducks there. So I had thought that number two shot would be enough for both. Um, and it was, but one problem we were having is if we would hit the geese in the body, the number two shot just wasn't enough. And as I found out, it wasn't enough. When I had breast open a goose, the BBs had just barely penetrated the skin and were kind of just sticking a little bit out of the meat they really didn't go through so we had to really place our shots to be headshots otherwise they weren't going down and as you can see in one of the pictures the goose's head is completely blown off because we started to dial in our headshots a little bit, bit a little bit but trying to shoot a goose in the head every time is a little bit more difficult than it may seem so i understand we only got one out of this one clip but nevertheless i haven't shot a goose since 2020 so it was a good day so before you judge a clip that's just a little bit of the background behind what happened. So I don't claim to be a goose hunter, you know, with the limit being one for, it was four or five years. Um, I really didn't chase geese all that often. Never had much luck either. That's why I only shot some in 2020 and that was the last time I shot any. I always just hunted Brant instead because the limit was two. And number one shot, and number two shot, I had no problem with putting Brant down. So I figured mm, they're similar in size and I just thought it would be good to use number two shot. I was wrong. So it was a mistake I'll only ever make once, but nevertheless, we still got birds, still got meat in the freezer. So at the end of the day, that's all that matters. No. Oh yeah, come on baby, come on. stay still, 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 wait till they do it. Nice. Ducks.
good shit, boys. Good shit. There's nowhere to put it. Under, underneath. There we go. Got it. Right after shooting light. Go figure. So to sum things up, um, we did pretty good for what we were working with. Uh, like I said, we didn't have the correct shot size. Uh, couldn't find anything bigger than number two shot. It wasn't ideal, but it worked for what we got. As you can see, we had to start aiming for the head because the BBs just weren't going in deep enough. But it is what it is. You live and you learn. And I'm going to make sure if we do go back to that property again, um, that I do have the correct shot size. So overall, it was a pretty good hunt. I haven't shot a goose in almost over three years. So it was pretty good. Can't complain. I was happy with what we got. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to go back there again. And, and next time, I will have the correct shot size. And we'll, we'll get a little bit more birds. But thanks for watching. Until next weekend.